Good morning guys, I hope you're all doing very well and as always, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today's video is going to be all about today obviously. Um, it's going to be a relatively random vlog because I feel as if nothing's happening but I feel as if I've got a lot of opportunities to film things. Um, I need to actually go to the shop right now because apparently there is a shortage of eggs in the country and that is not optimal whatsoever because my first meal of the day is turkey rashers, eggs and two big boy beagles and you guys know that already and that is going to be my first meal for today. I've got two eggs left so I need to actually head over to the petrol station across the road because I'm too lazy to walk any further to the shop that's around a mile away. I'm going to head over there, try and get some eggs, come back, get my first meal in. I've already boxed off my check-ins for the day, I've already took my health supplements for today. I am getting my car valeted later on, I've got midweek back to train, I'm getting my hair cut today. There's so much happening, but I feel as if there's nothing happening. But like I say, I feel as if I've got quite a lot of stuff to film. So I'm going to try and include it as always. Um, within this video, we'll try and keep it as short as possible. But as always, no rambling on in this intro. I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, do not forget to drop the video a like for me. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's get on with this day. Not a single game was played over in that petrol station. 15 free range eggs acquired. Now we can go forward with that lovely first meal of the day, which is going to be two whole eggs. And we're going to go in with four egg whites. Also acquired a nice little pink Monster Ultra Rosa. Now I don't even know if anybody's actually seen the brand new monster that's coming out in like summer. I think it's like strawberry something, something, something. I don't know what it is, but it looks unbelievable. But right now, this is top tier. This is at the top of the list right now. So this is what I'm going in with. This will wash down meal number one because I've actually hydrated already, believe it or not. Um, I've taken a lot of water already. So that's why when it comes to, for example, meal number one, I have no issues taking in a lovely little can of Monster Ultra. Please, can we just take a minute for how unbelievable this meal number one looks. So, like I say, guys, we've got a full packet of turkey rashers in there. We've got two big boy bagels. Unfortunately, I've had to go with the New York bagels because there was no war buttons left in stock. So we've got eight turkey rashers, two big boy bagels. We've got four egg whites, which accumulates upwards if you are tracking it in grams, maybe around 120 to 130 grams. And we also have two whole eggs in there as well, along with a little bit of tomato ketchup, salt. So guys, just before I head to the gym, a quick little supplement rundown. So I have got carb up for my intracarb today. We have got no code as my essential amino acid for today. And we have got level up V2, which is also gonna be put inside with my intra, which all is in that shaker right there. As you can see, not every day I do take my big jug, which is like two liters. Sometimes I do just take a full shaker into the gym um, because sometimes, I go through a lot of water, sometimes I've found that I've took my jug of water in and I've essentially not even got through um, three quarters of it, so there's been no point in me taking that much in. I do pretty much have th the same amount of supplements as what I would put in a little bit more water. We've actually got three scoops carb up today, we've got two scoops of no code and we've got one scoop of level up. And in here I've got my pre-workout which is going to be train smart for today from Unrivaled Nutrition. Now, of course guys, Unrivaled Nutrition, I don't have a code with or anything like that, but of course the link for um, the website will always be in the description box below. HR Labs, as always guys, you know, Kiffy15, Gasp, Better Bodies, Kiffy15. Um, I've had the unfortunate message that the guy that valets my car has actually messaged to say that he's had to cancel because of the weather today, which, it's understandable, but it just means that the car is going to have to stay dirty for another maybe four or five days. Regardless, I'm going to get my hair cut right now, but first I have to stop past the post office and post this very suspicious package. Then got to train some back and yeah, I'll just catch up with you guys at some point in this video.
since this is pretty much a full day in the life and I promised you guys that there was going to be a lot happening and essentially what's happened is absolutely nothing because the car never got validated, the rain is absolutely horrendous and on top of that you never even got to see me getting my hair cut although I did get it cut and I feel absolutely fantastic after it. But we went shopping, I've picked up a few of the essentials now this more so looks like what I pick up every kind of cut two to three days give or take just to make sure that I'm always stocked up on what I really need because what I find is whenever I get into a groove of just a certain few meals I will just literally stick to them so we picked up some already um, cooked basmati rice which this is just so easy because this literally costs like 35p you fire that into the microwave you've got 250 grams of rice nice and easy I actually picked up you know a little snack we've got the porridge to go bars which like I've said to you already guys I don't take these in every single day but they do go in um, quite often and again very easy carbohydrates to eat we picked up another packet of chicken because of course i'm a bodybuilder and you can never get enough chicken we picked up a four pack of your finest like i've told you already it is at the top tier right now ultra rosa which of course we take in around the can a day um but again guys that is not a that's not a staple like i don't take in a can every single day uh, but now that i've got that realistically speaking the next four days i'm probably going to take in a can we've got stocked up on the turkey rashers so of course three packets in there we got another packet of bagels because of course i did notice the warburton bagels were back in and like i've said to you already these shit all over new york bagels so of course already cooked they're softer and they're actually a little bit more dense so we picked them up and last but not least the only reason i picked these shreddies up was because they were on offer on the old club card i think they were literally like one pound 25 for 560 grams of shreddies and to be fair with you these are low in sugar and the macros actually aren't that bad i mean pair 100 grams of these you're taking in around 70 grams carbohydrates fats i mean essentially none like two grams max and around 10 grams of protein so it's not actually that bad so if you're looking for a cereal that's got not the worst macros on the planet um and isn't going to ruin your diet then maybe something like shreddies are the one but apart from that guys i am going to get my post-workout meal cooked up we had an absolutely fantastic back session if you haven't been able to tell already but i'll just catch up with you guys when the food's ready Anybody here before, I, I'm even going to say before I even started YouTube, to be fair, um, anybody that remembers a way before even 5,000 followers on even Instagram, um, throughout my maybe even 2018, 2019, 2020, all of my off seasons, this was a staple. So we've got 200 grams of chicken in there. We have got sweet chili sauce in there. So that's the secret sauce. We have got 250 grams of basmati rice. And we've got it all packed in to two fat little white wraps here. Which again guys, this is honestly one of the nicest meals that I can genuinely say that I've even got in. And, uh, and it's a staple. It's something that's always going to stay in my off season. Um, now don't get me wrong, I don't have it absolutely every single day. But it is definitely something um, that I will continue to keep in throughout the off season phase. It digests so well, it tastes so good and it is literally just full of carbohydrates. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to wash this down with basic. So again guys that is um, a supplement that does go in absolutely every single day as you know already. This is my creatine for anybody that's new. It's also a hydration formula, a saturation drink. You can drink it at any time of the day. Um, I do frequently get asked how um, or when's the best time to drink this or when can you drink it? Can you drink it late at night? It doesn't contain caffeine or anything like that and it does contain um, beta alanine which just means that if you do um, start running a supplement like this you might find that you will have the tingles a little bit um, or you'll have an itchy face or you'll just feel a little bit off the beta alanine side of things but once your body adapts to it and gets used to it you won't run into any issues whatsoever but that's a daily staple it's an overall supplement that does contain a lot of very 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 good ingredients which I could not recommend anymore but I'm going to get this meal into me and I'll catch up with you guys in the next clip Last and final meal just like that going in right now guys. It is around 10.20pm. I've just been out for my last and final um, steps of the night. Last and final just little digestion what guys more than anything else um, and really to taper my steps up to finish which is looking like 10,840 steps for the day. Now that's definitely something that I get asked a lot as well um, is what my sort of output's like throughout the off-season phase. I like to accumulate upwards of around 10,000 steps per day 
just because over the course of that in general it just keeps my digestion in a really good position and it allows everything to feel very good. I never feel sluggish, I don't feel unfit, I actually feel relatively fitter than I've ever been so I mean that also puts me in a really good position um, but it just kind of more so goes down the fact of right I don't believe cardio is also bad in the off season. I feel as if it is re relatively beneficial towards more so the health factor side of things. Um, so that's why I always do like to make sure that I can take in upwards of maybe 10,000 steps, get out a couple of walks per day, and really feel fitter and better because of that. So of course, as always, that is really where the step side of things lies, but this is gonna be last and final meal. Like I said to you, we've unfortunately um, had to go in with two bagel thins with some barbecue chicken on there because I panic bought bagel thins whenever there was no Warburton bagels in stock and I only did it because I knew that I'm not the biggest fan of um, the New York bagels so I thought, you know something, what's the next best thing if I don't eat the New York bagels? Bagel thins and of course I'm tight at the end of the day and I will never let anything go out of date without making sure that I eat it regardless how much it is, um, regardless what it is how many grams is left, I I just, I, I cannot stand waste. Um, and it's just always been a thing, so we're making sure that I'm eating the bagel thins, we're going in with two of them to finish off the day. This is also gonna conclude this video, but as you guys know already, my diet does consist of quite a bit of variety throughout the off-season phase. So again, you'll not always see me eating the same things all the time. You, you don't see me follow a meal plan throughout the off-season phase. And it's just because I, I've been able to gain a lot more experience over the course of the years that I've done this, and I know, my nutrition pretty much inside out now to the point where I can even more so guesstimate things and really become a lot more accurate with things. Obviously you guys know I weigh everything out every single day on these scales right here. Um, but regardless, because of that I've got say for example the choice of maybe 8 to 10 different things that I like to stick to that I know digest well, I know that I enjoy, I know that they can process very easily, slower digestion carbohydrates, um, again faster acting carbohydrates, there's lots. I'll always eat nutritionally dense foods. But as you guys know, there is a good amount of variety, which I really do feel is important throughout the off-season phase because especially throughout this phase, as long as you are getting in nutritious food that you need to recover and grow and um, perform very well off of, I feel variety is definitely the key to make sure that you don't get super bored and on top of that, you don't crave rubbish and on top of that, you don't end up binging and just putting yourself in an absolute hole. As always, guys, if you have enjoyed it, please do not forget to drop the video a like for me. Subscribe to the channel if you are new because we're still on the road to 10,000 subs. It is common, it is most definitely common. I'm just gonna have to be super patient. I have been over the course of the past few years that I've done this, I've been super patient throughout bodybuilding, so we are just gonna still wait. So do not, please forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, drop loads of comments down below, and I'll see you all in the next video.